Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how I brand my business DIY style. The branding is gonna be cut up into different series of different things that I do for the look of my business. First, I'll be showing you how I brand my bags. I make my own business cards off of Canva. I make my own ribbon and tissue paper. I'm on a little rip. Yeah, so sometimes it's not always about the purchase. It's about the experience that you get when you first open your product. Me, I'm the type of person when I when I open up a package, it's the first impression that counts for me. Sometimes I be more intrigued on the experience that I got of seeing how pretty the packaging is. And yes, we want the purchase, but we want to experience with the purchase. Yeah, you may throw the things away, but when you think about that purchase and the experience you had, you just may think about purchasing again. I know that's the type of person I am. These bags I got from Amazon. They came in like three different sizes. I'll show you. We have the larger ones. And, and we have the smaller ones. Yeah, so it's about that experience to me. So let's get into the video. Today I'll be showing you how I create my bags. So here we are in Cricut Design Space. This is the logo that I use for my business. I've already went ahead and sized it and sliced it and put the different colors on it. I'm going to leave the size of my logo as well as the size of the bags down in the description. Now let's go ahead and hit make. I am using a 12 by 12 mat, so I'm going to go ahead and click the 12 by 12. And I'm going to do the yellow image first. So I'm going to go ahead and mirror it because I'm using iron on. I know. So that now that we have it mirrored, we're going to go ahead and, and get it cut out. So we're going to click on glitter iron on. Now here I'm just going to prepare my mat with my glitter iron on. I'm using a standard grip Cricut mat. So this is glitter vinyl. So we putting the shiny side down and the matte side face up. So the low light is blinking. So I'm gonna go ahead and load my mat in. Now the cut light is blinking. So it's time to cut. Mm. 
So once the screen reaches 100%, it will prompt me for the next image that needs to be cut. Here's the second image. Now, here's a quick tip. Don't forget to cut off whatever material that was set to the first one. This is the second one. It's only using regular iron-on vinyl, not the glitter vinyl. So we're gonna go ahead and mirror this image. and change the setting to iron on. So here I'm just cutting out the second image. I'm being extra using this ruler, but yeah. So now we've made it to the weeding process. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit.
so now that I'm done weeding, I'm gonna use my ruler to center my logo on the bag. Now I'm going to lay my Teflon sheet on top just to protect my bag and my image. And I'm going to use the mini press on high for about 40 seconds. So here I'm just flipping the backing halfway up so I can lay my second image. I'm going to keep the plastic backing on to protect my first image. Now I'm going to lay my second image. Now here, I'm just going to cover the entire image with a Teflon sheet, and I'm going to go over the second layer for about 40 seconds.
Here my image is still kind of lifting up. So I'm just going to apply a little more heat. And I'm going to apply heat to the top image. Just so it can lock my glitter into place. I hope you enjoyed watching me make my customized shopping bags. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you can see me turn nothing into something. And cut a couple corners. See you soon.